A race car accelerates uniform, uniformly from 18.5 meters per second to 46.1 meters per second in 2.47 seconds. Determine the acceleration of the car and the distance traveled. Now, there's two problems here. It asks you for two different things. So let's see if we can if we can uh, address both of them. So it says that the velocity initial is 18.5 meters per second, and then my velocity final equals 46.1 meters per second. And it says that it does this in a time of 2.47 seconds. So these are the givens that I have, and since this is in the x-axis, I'm going to velocity initial equals 18.5 meters per second, and velocity final in the x-axis equals 46.1 meters per second. Now, time doesn't have a direction, so I'm going to put it in black. Seconds. Now, instead of using unknown and equation, I'm going to divide my uh, solution space up into two. The first step, I'm going to solve for the unknown of the acceleration. I'm going to start solve for the unknown of acceleration. On the other side, I'm going to solve for the unknown of displacement or distance traveled in the X. Okay, well, let's solve the left first. So the equation that I'm looking for it deals with velocity initial, final, time, and acceleration. And if I find that, I find that velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times time. When I replace numbers for letters, my velocity final is 46.1 equals 18.5 plus acceleration, which I don't know, but I do know 2.5. Four, seven seconds. Now I'm going to subtract 18.5 from the right to cancel, cancel. But whatever I do to the right, I have to do to the left. And so I get 27.6 equals 2.47 acceleration. In order to get acceleration all by itself, I'm going to divide by 2.47 to cancel. Whatever I do to the right, need to do to the left. And so I get acceleration equals, acceleration in the x equals 11.17408. If I take a look, three sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs, the answer is going to have three sig figs, 11. Meters per second squared. Now, for my second problem, the equation that I'm going to need deals with something different. It deals with velocity initial, velocity final, time, and I'm looking for displacement. In this case, I'm going to use the formula displacement equals one half velocity final plus velocity initial times time. I don't know what displacement is, but I do know velocity final is 46.1 plus 18.5. That quantity multiplied by 2.47 seconds, and that whole thing divided by 2. Displacement equals, when I solve what's in the parentheses, I get 64.6 times 2.47, and that whole quantity divided by 2. And then 
I solve the top, I get 159.562 divided by 2. Displacement in the x equals 79.781 meters. And since there's only three sig figs, it's going to be 79.8 meters.